happy 21st of December, happy day 21 of Vlogmas. How are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well. I'm a little under the weather this morning, I didn't have a good night's sleep, um, something was going on with my nose and my throat, I don't know. So yes, I'm a little groggy, um, but hey, you know, <laughs> I think it is just the case of my body is closing down for the holiday. I think that's what's going on, who knows. But um, yes, if I sound a little nasal or croaky, that's why, that's, I don't know what's going on. My body is just extremely confused at the moment. Needless to say, I have cancelled my bike ride this afternoon. I don't think it's wise if my body is having a bit of a, a moment to push it. So I will probably do some yoga this afternoon instead of my bike ride. Just, you know, stretch things out a bit, feel a bit better, I don't know. Anywho, let's get on to the advent. I'm going to start with, as per usual, the wonderful Siobhan's Crafts. I have been really enjoying this calendar. Now, what day are we on? Day 21. So we're up here. Let's see if I can open this without any trouble. Oh, okay. All right. Are we ready? Let's go. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think we're blue, aren't we now? I do love blue. Look at that with those lovely rainbow colours. Yes, I love this one. This is beautiful. Just, I cannot, yes. I think I say it every time, I cannot wait to start using these advents because they are absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I wanna use them. Right, let's carry on to the wonderful Woolly Mama advent calendar. So I hope you could see that, I don't know. I covered my screen. <laughs> right, let's get this open. And underway. I'll take this out. Oh, yes, there we go. Right. Oh my gosh, the days are fast diminishing. Right, on to day 21. Get this open. Oh. Right, okay. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is going to look good against Siobhan's today. Oh, that's lovely that. I do like blues and purples. I think if I were to choose, um, blues and purples would definitely be a colour that I, it's it's the faithful colour that I go to, a blue. Um, and definitely purple as well. I do like purple, but ooh, put that next to Siobhan's. Oh, very nice, very nice. Obviously you will see it in a bit. Chuck that in there. Right, okay. Moving swiftly on because I have to get back to work. This is another busy day today. Um, we've got the works quiz today as well. I think that's at half ten. So I think everybody's excited. I am terrible at quizzes. How are you at quizzes? Um, it's usually like a Christmassy quiz. They'll have some music questions in there, which I am rubbish at. Um, they'll have some general knowledge, obviously. Um, I can't remember. I think we had some sport last year as well. I am absolutely rubbish at them. I am just the worst. And I usually score the lowest, which is fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> My knowledge is very obscure. So <laughs> the chances of a question that I would know something about coming up is very slim. Yeah, how do you get on at uh, like pub quizzes or something? Let me know, I'm, I'm curious. Right, onto the Kami Yarn advent calendar. And oh, I've done a little bit of work on my shawl as well, on my wrap. So I'm excited to show you progress later, but obviously I'll show you that later. Right, so yesterday we saw our last day in Peru. Today we are in our next and final destination. So um, these are all over the place. I'm gonna grab the day now because I can see it, right. So our next destination is, oh yeah, is it? Yes, 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 lovely, okay. So our next destination is Alaska. Look at these penguins, oh, so lovely. How beautiful is that? So this is our last destination. Alaska is definitely a place I would love to visit. Um, any cold destination, I am there. I love cold destinations. Um, right, I'm gonna read the postcard to you <clears throat> as best I can. I feel like half of these postcards I've read to you with a croaky throat. 
My apologies. It wasn't my plan, obviously. But anyhow, let's read this to you. To my dear crafty friend, greetings from the land of the midnight sun. Alaska's colours have woven an enchanting tapestry. I'm mesmerised and would love to live here forever. Do you know, I feel like it's a place that once, if I were to go, I would absolutely want to live there, if I'm honest. When we went to Iceland, I didn't want to come home. I absolutely loved it there. I could have definitely moved in for sure. Um, but yes, Alaska, this is our final destination and we are opening day one today. Oh, sad but exciting at the same time. I'm excited to see the colour, but it's also sad that this is the last four days. I mean, it's flown by, hasn't it? Absolutely flown by, right? I'm trying to stall for time again because this is a stubborn sticker. Bear with me, I'm nearly there. Yep, all right, let me fold it over. Okay, day 21, day one of Alaska. Are we ready? I haven't got a clue what this is going to be. Beautiful. Oh my. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So this is kind of a pale grey. And then we've got this beautiful speckling, almost similar, almost akin to Scotland. Oh my gosh, we're going to get some icy colours, hopefully. I'm hoping for icy colours. That is kind of an icy colour, isn't it? That is gorgeous. Oh, yes, I am very happy. Oh, so our first day of Alaska. Very beautiful. Right, let me just try and tidy up a little bit. Because, as I say, it makes it a lot easier for me when I come to actually tidy up everything, all the equipment and everything. Right, now, mini spoiler warning. Oh, I've just seen a gift here. <laughs> Random gift. Let me pop that under the tree properly. Right, um, so I'm going to shuffle everything around a bit. Hang on. So I actually managed to get up to date with all my Toft clues. So I'm up to today's clue. I will show you later, I promise. Um, but I'm so pleased that I'm up to date. I sat down last night and I thought, do you know what? Let's stop being miserable about this and let's just get it done. And I did, and I'm so pleased. Plus yesterday's clue wasn't that bad. It was um, it was fiddly, but it wasn't as fiddly as the other days. So it was much, I was much happier doing it. Right, on to Toft Advent Calendar. Yes, you can see that. As you can see, the bag is a lot less full now. What day are we on? Not day 24, we are on day, not day 22, uh, day 21. No, that's day 23. I've I picked up every bag, every box, but the box I needed. That jangles a bit. Right, let me put that under the, oh, my nose is running, I'm so sorry. Oh, yes, yeah, not feeling great today. Right, day 21. We have a jangle. Right, my cup of tea is over there, so it's fine. Let's get this open, shall we? Are we focused? Kind of focused. Oh, 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 okay. Right, this looks like modeling. This looks like fire. Okay, so, uh, I have never done this before on a, on anything uh, crochet wise. I've never, so the wire, I believe, is usually used so that you can you can put it you can insert it into your product. My apologies, bear with me. My apologies, everyone. I had a uh, a very important phone call that I needed to answer, so I'm just checking everything's happening all at once. Messages. I need to get back to work. <laughs> Modeling wire. So I believe this is used to put into your items, and it can either kind of. So you can pose them, I guess, or make them stand, or I'm not entirely sure. As I say, I've never used it before. Um, I believe this might be an optional thing. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm honest. As I say, I've never put wire in one of my items before, and I don't feel like I need to. So I'm going to read the clues and today's email, which should be here. Yeah, it's half eight. It'll be here. Um, I'm going to read the clue, see how I feel. And um, yeah, let you know what I actually decide to do and if I decide to use the wire. Um, right, oh, I can't get it back in the box. There we go. Right, now I really need to get back to work because obviously everybody needs me. <laughs> it's half eight, everybody, give me a break. <laughs> um, so, yes, anywho, as I said, I need to get back to work. 
but I will be back later on because I have a lot to show you. I have um, progress on my, wait a minute, I've not shown you the yarn. Let me show you the yarn. Right, all the yarn that I got today were these gorgeous colours. Absolutely gorgeous colours today. There we go. So those are the yarn. Um, I did do some work on my trifle wrap. Gosh, it is windy out there. Oh, what a dismal day. Um, I have done some work on my trifle wrap, so I'm looking forward to showing you that. Um, and as I, say, as I said earlier, I have done some work on my toft items. So I am up to date as of yesterday. So I've got to look at today's clue and decide what I'm going to do. Um, that is assuming if the modelling wire, I'm assuming the modelling wire is a choice. And as I say, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, but I'll keep you posted. I will let you know later because, as I said, I really need to get back to work. <laughs> get back into the madness. Right, I will speak to you all in a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. I am back for my final check-in of today. We are so close now. Oh my goodness, one more day of work left. I'm not entirely sure how I'm holding up this year. I don't think I am actually holding up because the sound of my nose, it has gotten progressively dribblier throughout the day, which is always a joy. Um, I have spent most of the afternoon with a tissue stuffed up my nose just so I can stop having to blow it and yeah, just function. <laughs> Sorry for the image, but the, you know, needs must and all that. Um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a challenge today, once again. It's been a very challenging December work-wise, really. I'm hoping it's not like this next year. <laughs> um, but yes, we are so close now. I have worked so many hours this week that I only have to work a couple of hours tomorrow, but client dependent as to whether that will happen. Um, in theory, I should finish early and I won't have any hours over. Um, I can carry them forward into January and take them back in January, but I'd like to finish the year on a, on a zero, you know, I, I'm, I've done all the hours, I don't need to carry, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I am going to do this video for yourselves and then I am going to do some more chores around the house because we've had some meat delivered today. Um, so I need to sort that out, get that in the freezer or fridge dependent um uh, most of it's for christmas day i believe but yeah i need to get that sorted as soon as possible and um then i may sorry the christmas treat lights just decided to come on hello <laughs> <sighs> um yeah so i've got a couple of things to do um and then i might settle down in bed for an hour or two with one of my new books um i'll show you my new books at the end i'm quite excited about them i don't know if you'll be excited about them but i'm excited <laughs> Anyway, let's get stuck in to the crafty goodness. So, sadly, I don't have as much on my trifle wrap to show as I had hoped. I was hoping I'd be able to get a break in. I was hoping I'd be able to finish on time. Um, but, you know, I think I should know this time of year it's not going to happen. So I'm not holding my breath for tomorrow, but I am hopeful. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to show you it. This is the trifle wrap by Helen Stewart and I am using my Zakami Yarn Advent to make it basically. There we are. So I have only just started. I was hoping to get more of this in because I really wanted you to see it a bit more um, but I, I could only do what I could. So if I bring this close you can just about see that I've got the new colour in. So the new colour is this one. And this should have been in place, this should, this should have been here, but I swapped it round because it was just so similar to that colour. And I really can't wait to actually get properly going with this colour so that we can actually see all, of, all four colours of Jordan together. So this one here, this one and this one, and then this is the fourth one. I really want to see them all knit up together. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. But yes. That is the wrap. I haven't done a massive amount from yesterday, but at least I have started on the next colour. I am massively behind with this now, so I don't think you're going to see this finished um, in my last video before Christmas. So it will definitely be an after Christmas update as to 
when I finish really. Um, but yes, I absolutely love it. Highly recommend the pattern and yeah, highly recommend the Kami yarn as well. I absolutely adore their colourways. They're just amazing. Right, on to the next advent project, which is the wonderful Toft advent. I am less grumpy now. My apologies for getting grumpy with it. Um, but I have caught up with clues. However, I haven't done today's clue, but I have seen it, so I know what it is. Um, I will quickly show you an update on all my dolls. So yesterday you will have seen my update on the little tutu, which I'm really, really quite pleased with actually. It looks all right, I think. Um, and then the lovely tiara, those were the clues from, I forget what day, but it was a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, she is, I still haven't tied it in because I'm still just trying to be sure um, the ends aren't tied in. We, we know, we know my style by now. Now, today's package was modelling wire. So the clue is to make a staff. And um, I believe the wire goes in the staff if you want it to. So I, th and then um, I believe I saw that the modelling wire can also go in the doll's arms so that you can position the arms in certain ways and such. Now, what I am thinking is I am not going to put the modelling wire in the arms. I don't want to. Um, I just don't feel that it's something that I want to do. Um, personally, it's a personal choice, so that that's personally what I would not I wouldn't want to put wire in the dolls. Um, however, the staff, I may consider it. So I will update you, obviously, if I get round to doing it. Whether that will be tonight, probably not, because I am so tired. I don't think it will be tonight, in all honesty. Um, I may try, depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow and how early I finish tomorrow, I may try and do today's clue tomorrow. Failing that, Sunday, Saturday. Failing that, it will be Saturday, and Saturday will be a massive catch-up day, I imagine. Um, but yes, that is the status of character one. Character two, I have finished the clues um, that were required to be completed for this character. So if I bring him up now, you can see. Um, the first part of the clue, which you saw yesterday, I did the shoulder details and the... Um, the, I don't even know what the word is. I can't think of the word, but this trimming. Oh, that could be the word. The trimming around the the collar, the neck of the jacket. I don't know. Um, then I also did the little detailing here and on the other side. Now, Kerry did say to do it, stitch to, when you did the stitches, you stitch through the coat and the legs as well. So the coat would then be stuck to the legs. I didn't want to do that. So my coat lifts up you can still lift it up I mean it's not the tidiest under there but at least it's not rigidly stuck to the legs I just didn't fancy doing it to the legs to be honest so that's what I've done then as you can see there's a bit of a uh, shiny going on on his hat um, I this was that chain so we've just sewn that into the hat to give him a little more bling if you will um, and then there's a little bubble on the top now, I did the bubble wrong, but do you know what? I'm fine with it. It's absolutely fine. Um, it looks 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 all right. Looks nice. I'm happy with it. So mine's, my bubble's a little bit perkier than, um, than Kerry's. <laughs> but, you know, it just makes him a little bit different. Um, and that is my character two, character two update. Now, character three, I have done him. Um, I'm going to just show you him as he is. So here he is, character three. There we are, with his little little cape on. I'm going to take his cape off so I can show you the details that I did yesterday a bit better. So first things first, we put the trousers on, pulled the tail through, sewed the trousers on. Now, I have watched the videos recently because I just wanted to understand a little bit more about what I was doing. And I realised that Kerry sews the trousers on very differently to how I sew them on. So it is what it is, really. Mine, mine are properly secure because I go through every single stitch to sew them on. <laughs> so they're very secure. Um, but that was the first thing. And then we did um, the 
uh, detailing down the side, the stripes down the sides of the trousers. Mine are a little wonky, but at this point in time, it's fine. I don't mind. Then we got to do the uh, these cuffs and then also these buttons down the front with the um, stitching, I suppose. Yeah. So he looks a lot more finished. He looks great, I think, with his little tail. So obviously I've got, and plus we got the choice of the colour for the cuffs, the buttons and the, the stitching down the front. And I think everyone's is going to start looking a lot more different now as well, which is going to be really exciting. Plus I have made mistakes. For example, my, my tail is cream, um, but I don't mind. And yeah, <laughs> everyone's is going to start looking different, which is really nice. And he looks really smart. I have tied all the ends in on my cape as well. You'd be so proud of me. I did that yesterday. Oh, and then put his cape back on and he looks great. He looks fantastic. I do really like him. He looks good. There we go. But yes, again, I'm not going to put the model modelling wire in their arms because I just don't really want to. So yeah, I will, I will readdress it either tomorrow or Saturday. But yes, that is, those are the updates on all of my dolls. And as I say, I've not done anything on today's clue, so that will happen at some point, hopefully soon. My apologies, everyone. I had a mini emergency. It was a nose dribble time. <laughs> it comes and goes, um, but when it comes, I've got I've to be ready. So I wasn't ready. Um, but yes, I am going to do what I need to do and I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to get some rest in. I am going to have a little nose at my new books, which are these. They are both by from, um, they are both by Bronte Rell. I don't know if I've said that correctly, but they are Scandi Kitchen books. So I believe Scandi Kitchen is a restaurant down in London. Um, and yeah, they basically have lots of lovely recipes in, very cosy and comforting recipes. Um, I'm just checking, yeah. Gosh, I can't stop staring at all the recipes. They're absolutely beautiful. But yes, they're all uh, Scandinavian recipes. I've got the baking one coming tomorrow as well, I believe. Although this is mostly baking, so I'm quite intrigued to see <laughs> how many wonderful treats I can make. But yes, I am very much the baker in this house. My partner is definitely the chef. He makes most of our meals because he is a lot better at it than I am. Um, generally, just the coming up with something to make. I... I don't know why my brain's not good at doing that. It's not good at all. But baking, on the other hand, oh, I love it. So I'm going to snuggle down with these in a moment, um, make myself a warm beverage, get nice and cosy, have a little flick through the books, maybe put some post-its in there when I uh, come across something I really want to make. Um, but yeah, that's my, my afternoon. Obviously, I need to edit this video for yourselves, but I'll do that after I've had a bit of a rest. Ah, right, so I'm back at work tomorrow again. As I say, hopefully a shorter day. That's what I'm hoping for. So cross your fingers for me. Um, hopefully it'll be a lot shorter. And hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep tonight because I think that's going to really help me with how I feel. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that there. So thank you so, so much once again for watching. It always means the absolute world to me. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.